All right, everyone, it's time for a major revelation. Clinton did nothing wrong with regards to the Uranium One deal. Well, according to the Democratic Party, you see, apparently they, they looked into it. And they determined the informant had no evidence that Hillary Clinton personally benefited from everything uh, that went on. Now, number one, this is a little bit of a straw man argument. Nobody is arguing. And this informant can specifically prove, hey, yeah, Hillary Clinton, it was definitely uh, quid pro quo. She took money from a bunch of Russians, which did happen. The Clinton Foundation got a huge donation, and then this deal went through. It was investigated in the Obama era, not even talking about, you know, after Trump's election, even in the Obama era, the FBI apparently looked into it. By the way, the FBI looking pretty dumb right now. Uh, because of that Nicholas Cruz uh, stuff. And apparently, they had to come forth and say, well, sorry, yeah, uh, a couple of times we technically should have looked into him, and, uh, you know, maybe he was going to become violent, go crazy, go postal, but we didn't look into it because, you know, for reasons, so, you know, we're really sorry about that. Make sure to frame the uh, continued FBI involvement over uh, Trump surveillance, maybe, huh, in the same thing, in the same vein, uh, but it must be nice for Hillary Clinton. Now, when the big news of the day, really, it's, it's been the Hillary Clinton exonerated. Almost none of the lamestream networks are actually reporting the truth in the title. You know, again, Propaganda 101. Simple propaganda tactic. Write up a story. How many people read it to the end? Not many. You know, far less than half. Most people, if they open it at all, they either read the title and subtitle or they skim through it. They don't read the whole thing in completion. People don't generally have the time to do that. Most people won't. So if you have a title that says, oh, you know, you know, it's a big story of the day. Hillary Clinton did nothing wrong with Uranium One. Very few people are actually gonna look deep enough into that story to say, oh, according to the Democratic Party. And so what you've just done is try to uh, change people's minds. It's not technically a lie. It's a lie really in the structuring of a, of a text-based article. Uh, you could do the same thing with a video. You could open up with a video, same title situation. The first uh, couple of minutes, you uh, are just talking about how Hillary Clinton did nothing wrong. And then you, you drop, of course, the real story, which is, oh, according to democratic investigation. Uh, nobody, though, is saying that this informant had specific uh, inside knowledge of that happening. What we're saying is that this particular informant figured something was going on because he was capable of putting two and two together. Nobody's saying the informant is the end-all, be-all judge, jury, and executioner. It's based on what the informant says that you then further investigate. That's the way that it works. It doesn't matter if the informant comes out and says, well, you know, uh, you know, this is what happened. Uh, I'm suspecting this, but no, I don't have any inside knowledge that Clinton uh, did quid pro quo with a bunch of Russian groups. It's just total coincidence that these same groups that donated untold millions of dollars to the uh, Clinton Foundation very quickly thereafter uh, get caught up, of course, in getting all of this uranium from the U.S. in this major sale. It's a total coincidence. Could happen to anybody. Anybody could get 20, 30 million dollars from some Russian oligarchs after overseeing a major uranium sale. It just it happens all the time. What can we talk? What can we say? It's totally normal for this to happen within DC. Unfortunately, that's actually true. Yeah, stuff like that happens all the time. It's not just Hillary Clinton. She's just perhaps more corrupt than most, but that doesn't mean that other people don't do similar things. So let's not get ahead of ourselves and pretend that you know Clinton being in DC makes it a swamp. No, that's one one uh, of the particular lily pads in this particular swamp. The the one that has the really ugly flower. And it's called Chelsea Clinton. Maybe not so much of a flower as a stinkweed or something. Uh, but yeah, the, the Democrats have determined that Hydrogen Hillary didn't do anything wrong. That must be nice. It's like, uh, this just in, the tobacco companies have determined that, no, your lung cancer wasn't caused by chain-smoking Marlboros all day. No, it was caused by something else. You, know, you inhaled dust too many times. Look, you're, you know, you're living in a place, you know, there was a drought. And you inhaled some sand particles, and, and somehow they gave you like emphysema. They gave you lung cancer. It's not due to the smoking. Here, here's another pack. Fucking shut up. Here's a free carton. <laughs> this just in, the chocolate company has determined that scarfing down all that chocolate isn't one of the main reasons why you're fucking uh, obese. This just in, the Republican Party has determined that Richard Nixon was the best president. This just in, a person that voted for Trump still likes Trump, think he's great. A person who voted against him thinks he's the Antichrist. No, no shit. Today on Common Sense 101. It's like those internal investigations. 
where they're allowed to occur sometimes. It's like the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church determined the Catholic Church did nothing wrong. You know, you know, all those little kids. You know, we shuttled around a bunch of, of you know, gropey priests. Uh, it's not our fault. Uh, it was some little, it was just, uh, they sinned. You know, Satan made them do it. It's what happened. Uh, so, I love it when this sort of thing happens because so easily exploited for humor. It's, it's hilarious to hear this because you've got, like CNN, New York Times, all these groups, what are they reporting? They're not telling you in the title, oh yeah, the Democrats are, are claiming that no wrongdoing in the Uranium One deal. Instead, you see Uranium One's trending. The first story that pops up on Twitter doesn't even mention in the title now that the Democrats are the ones making this claim. It's not an independent investigation. This is the same sort of, look, with the Nunes memo. What did the Democrats say? Well, you know, you've got these Republicans, they're making this memo exonerating, you know, basically the Republican claims and saying that they're, the Republicans are right, but it's being, you know, made by a Republican. In that case, though, you have some, some degree of inside info. And the claims there are not specifically, well, you know, here's a, a case of criminal wrongdoing. It's this was suspicious, that was suspicious, this is odd. Again, a straw man argument was made. They were trying to attack a ghost because they didn't want to discuss what the Nunes memo actually said. What, what is being claimed about Uranium One is it is shifty. It looks bad. It looks like a crime was committed. No, we're not saying that there's absolute proof. That's why you investigate. We're saying there is suspicion that you would find proof, reasonable suspicion as in an investigation into this particular situation should occur. And Maddow's not going to say that, though. They're not going to come out and say that to your face. Yeah. This just in, Microsoft says that Microsoft's, uh, you know, tel telemetry isn't spying on you. This just in, uh, Amazon says that its books are better than everyone else's books. It's like, yeah, if you have a group of people doing their own investigation, doing their own studies, whatever, it's like all those media polls during the election. CNN says the candidate CNN hates is 20 points behind and you shouldn't vote for him because he's probably a bigot. No shit. Oh, just a poll of MSNBC viewers says 99% of the American public, you know, MSNBC viewers, uh, think that Trump is, you know, Heinrich Himmler. No shit. Happens all the time. Yeah, it's sort of like, you know, an investigation, Sticks Hexenhammer investigated his content, found it was really interesting and that you should watch his videos and, and click like and share and stuff. No shit. Yeah, there's nothing self-serving about it at all. It's, it's a perfectly unbiased investigation into their fellow Democrat. I don't think so. That's not the way that things work. What we need is a total in, uh, independent investigation into the situation. By the way, since there are a handful of people, who are independent enough to actually point that sort of thing out. What were the Democrats thinking in actually releasing this anyway? Because now Uranium One goes, again, after a month, goes back to trending. Everyone talks about it again for a day. And even though a lot of the mind-numbed people are saying, well, you know, Hillary Clinton was exonerated because they didn't read the article, then you've got people who are actually cued in. They know better because they did read the article. They went beyond the title and subtitle. Or they, or they uh, read an article on a site that actually they analyzed it, did it properly, and said, well, you know, this is basically non-news. It's not exactly a revelation that the Democratic Party is going to say Hillary Clinton did nothing wrong. This just in, the Republican Party closes ranks, says that there's no possibility that Trump colluded with Russia. Well, no shit, they're going to say that. You know, those of us who happen to, dis to uh, agree with that without being partisan, it's a totally different situation. But yeah, they're Republicans. Of course they're going to shield a fellow Republican. It didn't, doesn't matter if wrongdoing was uh, done. George W. did nothing wrong with the, the FEMA response. Oh no, it was the FEMA dude's fault. You know, the, just ignore the carpet bagging. Again, straw men are common within politics. It's so dumb. It's so funny though. I mean, it's more humorous than anything else. You can write a million jokes about it. Yeah, this, uh, this uh, puppy mill here says that there's no abuse going on at the puppy mill. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, again, you can make a million derivations.